of Manipur, well, I love the city. I love the state. I mean, uh, this is my second visit to Manipur. I'd actually come for the campaign of Miss India 2023 here. I visited a lot of places. I love the people. I love the food. And I can't wait to come back again. My experience has been surreal. I mean, my life has changed. I've lived two different lives in the same year. I was a normal office-going girl and cut to I become Miss India 2023, 2022 who will represent India at Miss World. Um, the feeling is unbelievable. My life has changed 20, with my 360 degrees and I can't wait to make you all proud and India proud. I believe that uh, Miss India as a title is a responsibility and my heart goes out to the girl who comes next in the legacy but I know for sure she'll make us proud. All the 30 contestants are fabulous, they're stunning and I hope they make us all proud. So I've been working on my project called Ashae. It is a hope for people who are currently unemployed and I'm providing them uh, public speaking and spoken English courses and helping them with the upliftment and confidence to go ahead and build their career and it's looking fruitful. Miss World had come here, the Miss World organization and uh, they had a great time spending time with my kids who I teach in my organization and our vision is to you know spread this project, spread, spread the title which we are doing along with the NGO called Teach India and we hope that we make it a big one throughout this year. Totally unfair. 30 girls are absolutely gorgeous and stunning. Can't do that. <laughs> they are stunning. I mean, I remember back in my batch, all the North East contestants are stunning and you know, few of them are actually one of my very good friends from that batch. Call it Angobi, who's from your state. And um, let's say Louis. We all, we all are still connected and I feel that they are talented and unique in their own way. And they represent something really unique. And it's, I'm really glad that, you know, they come here, they showcase their culture and we get to know more about it. Thank you, thank you so much.